ordinary worker ending an ordinary workday. Bud is one of Conglomco's most productive workers. To get things done fast, he relies upon electronic mail. Electronic mail, or as it's known to computer technicians, email, makes it easy to communicate. Email requires no stamps and no envelope. Just type and send. What could be simpler? Email is so convenient that everyone uses it. But sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. Tonight, Bud has stayed late to finish answering all his email messages, some of which seem to be quite unusual. Dear taxpayer, this is your third notice that you underpaid your taxes for last year. With penalties and interest, the amount outstanding is now $14,246. This debt is severely overdue. If you do not respond within 48 hours, we will withhold your paycheck until the debt is paid in full. Other legal action may be taken. See the attachment for full details. Sincerely, the Internal Revenue Service. Ach, wait! Don't click that mouse! That email is nonsensical. The IRS would address you by name. What it says third notice. Have you ever seen this notice before? Hmm? <laughs> Very suspicious, yeah? <laughs> but you can't ignore the tax cops. And they'll take our paycheck. You have to read that attachment. Sending a booby-trapped email attachment is cybercrime's most common vector. I say, it's a fraud. It says legal penalties. Hello? We could be in big uh, trouble. Click it. Click it. I... <laughs> Suddenly, a worm was loose on the corporate network, and all because of one misguided click from Bud. Look out, Bud! Bud! Submitted for your approval. Sometimes deception fools reason and leads to regret. Welcome to a dimension of second chances. There's a sign up ahead. Next stop, the hindsight zone. Ah! Ah, black. <laughs> Bud has learned an important lesson. Don't open email attachments that arrive unexpectedly. Especially if there's anything fishy about them. Dear customer, the security team here at Megabank has detected attempts to compromise your bank account. To verify recent transactions, please follow the link below and log in. If you do not comply, we will be forced to close your account. Please aid our efforts to maintain the highest level of security. Sincerely, Mega Bank. Ah, that is quite clever. <laughs> An attacker pretending concern for our security. Oh, you think everything is an attack. If this didn't come from Mega Bank, how, how, how did they know we have a Mega Bank account, huh? <laughs> they don't have to know. 
It cost the attacker nothing to send an email. And it's the biggest banking chain in the nation. So the bad guys just send it out on a chance. <laughs> oh, don't listen to him. We could lose our bank account. Uh, click it. <sighs> okay, Schmarty. Let's see if the link in the email really leads to Megabank. Hover your mouse over it, uh, but don't click it. Uh, what you see in the email is merely cosmetic. Look at the box. That shows where the link really goes, and that does not say Megabank. Well, it's just some numbers. It could be Megabank, couldn't it? Maybe, huh? Not likely. The real Megabank will use its own name, because only they own Megabank.com. The numbers are there to hide something. Blah, blah, mega bank, blah, blah, yada, yada, words, 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 we're gonna lose money, bud. Rover, we'll starve. You gotta click the link, I'm begging you. <laughs> Banks do not use email to request confidential information. You click the link. You could go to their real website on your own, no. without a link, and see if they mention a click security the confirmation. If I am right, and he is wrong, attackers will capture your password. Then they can log in as you, and then they will take everything. Click the link. Click it. Click it. Listening to his smarter side, Bud inspected the link before he clicked it and made the right choice. There's never any need to panic over an email. Next time you hear that dumb voice in your head, tell it to scram. After that night, Bud was never fooled again. Even when he saw an email from a company he did business with, Smart Bud told him not to click the links in the email. Bud could take control by visiting their website the way he usually did. Type the URL yourself, or use bookmarks you've already set up in your browser. As long as you don't click links in emails, no booby-trapped email can hurt you. Bud still wasn't the most popular worker at Conglomco, but at least he was safe around email. Think before you click. Don't be a dumb bud. Be the best bud you can be.